Hello everyone, this is Akai, man. Welcome back to some more World of Warships, and I guess in continuing the uh, Tier 5 setup I was doing, I, I don't really understand why exactly I'm doing this, but uh, it's actually kind of a nice experience to go back to some old tiers that you really haven't played in a very, very long time. And we are in fact in the Tier 5 German cruiser, the Konigsberg. And I have not played this ship in such a long time that I did not realize the turrets actually turn 360 degrees, which is really cool. So you're going to see me kind of playing with that for a little bit. Uh, we are playing on Solomon Islands. I've been uh, joined with Imperial and the Julio Chassar. We have a Bogue, Wyoming, Miyogi, Emil Burton, Konigsberg, Phoenix, Kazuru, Kuma, and a T-22 Shenyang. On the enemy team, there is a Bogue, Konig, Orion, Suzuki, Omaha, Konigsberg, Kirov, Duguay, Troy, Yubari, Podvotsky, Isakaze, and a Isislav. And, well, this is not a bad battle. Uh, probably a good demonstration on the Konigsberg. So the Konigsberg is obviously the very start of where the German cruisers are essentially going to be uh, teaching you about its AP. The AP is actually pretty decent. Uh, not as good as the higher tiers, obviously. Uh, the AP that you normally expect from like the Hindenburg and the uh, Rune doesn't really show up till the Admiral Hipper, but the AP still hits pretty hard. So let's talk about the ship. The ship is fragile. Just like any of the other tier five, tier five, she is extremely fragile. And you do have to be well aware of your Citadel because you will be Citadeled from almost any angle. Very, very cautiously you have to play. However, she does have a decent reload speed around seven seconds, which is not too bad. She does have three triple turrets. Uh, obviously the 152 millimeters and the HE is pretty decent. AP hits pretty hard like I did say, but it's nothing like uh, what the American cruisers have with the heavy AP. Uh, any slight angle, your AP shells will do a very minimal amount of damage and that's kind of what the whole, I guess, fact of the German cruiser was that they had very... Uh, finicky AP. We could, we'll say that route. So this battle is going to be a difficult battle and we'll see how it progresses. Uh, there is a enemy battleship over there. I don't really want to show a lot of broadside but I do have to in fact try to pull away as quickly as possible because uh, I don't want to continue pushing in. And one nice thing about the Konigsberg is the majority of her firepower is going to be in fact in the rear which is extremely beneficial. Uh, so it does allow you to run away. So this is something uh, that happens at least three times in the German cruiser line where the majority of your firepower is in the rear. Now AP once again against another broadside cruiser. Pretty decent. There we go. Earned our first citadel. And unfortunately uh, for us, he does decide to turn away, and uh, you can kind of see where uh, the issue with the AP is. Uh, does fall very fall fall flat uh, whenever a enemy cruiser or battleship decides to turn away. So do have to keep that in mind and try to use that to your advantage whenever possible. Uh, but of course, as I have mentioned, this ship is very very fragile and you don't want to be in a position where you will get blapped and you will get blapped fairly quickly and fairly hard uh, so do keep in mind of your positioning as you can see I, I am taking my time I am using the range and the range is pretty decent on a tier 5 16.5 kilometers which is pretty fantastic uh, let's see if we can finish off this Konigsberg now our team at the moment is not doing so hot uh the majority of their team have in fact went over on the northeastern side and well things aren't going so hot for us right now and it's going to get a lot worse as you will will find out uh relatively quickly now kirov kirov's another good tier 5 cruiser USSR, but it's extremely fragile, just like the Konigsberg, extremely fragile. But its guns 
are very reminiscent of the tier 10 MOSFA. Uh, they fire at a very uh, high velocity, which does mean they hit pretty hard. However, any indication of showing a broadside uh, will mean your demise. As you can see, double citadel on that Kirov. So he is extraordinarily low on health. But once again, you can kind of see the issue with the Konigsberg's AP. Now, I have talked about a lot about her guns, and that's that's predominantly what you're gonna have to keep in mind is her guns can be finicky at times, but at the exact same time, you don't really want to be sitting kind of like what I was doing. Yeah, I, I kind of sat there for too long, take took unnecessary damage. And just trying to finish off this care of. If we can finish off this care of, this should help us. But unfortunately, our team is not doing so hot at the exact same time. Uh, you can see we are currently down three ships, and we are going to lose just another. But we fortunately get another kill, which is going to help us out a little bit more. Now, at the time. Enemy team is starting to push quite heavily uh, down the eastern front, which is not particularly good and does require us to go back and support. So I'm going to unfortunately have to beach myself just to get turned around, but fortunately we're not really in a immediate danger, so we can at least suffice to do that. Now the AA on the Konigsberg is not impressive. Uh, German AA is nothing compared to obviously the USN or the British cruiser line so you don't have that very fantastic AA but as the tiers go up higher and higher they have at least good defensive AA against any personal aircraft attack so you can use that to your advantage and fortunately the Konigsberg does have the plane as well as she has the hydro now this is not the overpowered not overpowered really the very potent uh hydro that the high tier german cruisers get but still is pretty darn good and would recommend if you don't have defensive aa to almost always run the hydro the hydro is very beneficial to have not like you really have much of a choice but fortunately uh, for us, that Omaha uh, didn't really land his shells. Now, I will have to say, Yubari is actually a very difficult ship to actually hit. It's actually a very uh, small ship, but as you can see, it does take, uh, doesn't take HE very well. Should be able to kill this, this Yubari off. Very nice. Dragged another ship back, and but we're still down, and at the moment, we do have two... Destroyers pushing up and unfortunately for RCV who is trying his best He is heading in the wrong direction. That's not good because there is in fact two destroyers coming and also battleships and a cruiser and We definitely need to end this off as quickly as possible. Isakaze is obviously Being spotted we are being helped out by a friendly destroyer uh, but he is currently running the other way as you can see he's very low in health Pavlovsky very low health he's trying to slow up trying to get in the smoke uh, but the HE is loaded and of course we don't kill him all right well one more salvo should be enough to kill him there we go another ship brought back and now we are in fact even on teams now HE I probably should actually talk. The HE is not bad, especially since they did buff the German HE. It is pretty decent. Uh, you can definitely catch fire, and for whatever reason, the RNG really did love me at the very beginning of this current conflict against this Orion, as you will see. But then RNG giveth and RNG taketh. Do get a fire on that Orion, and this is kind of how you want to play the German cruisers. You want to be at a distance. The range on the German cruisers are pretty fantastic. So you can definitely kite. Now this is probably a very questionable move. I'm trying to at least support our CV, who has finally realized that the direction he was currently going was quite the wrong one. 
And he is trying to boogie away as quick as he can. I can't believe I just said boogie. But Isakaze is spotted. And fortunately for us, once again, the uh, Konigsberg does have 360 degree turn rate on its turrets. Which is extremely beneficial compared to the old. Where you had to in fact do a complete uh, 270 just to get your guns turned around. But unfortunately we're picking a fight. I really do not want to really experience, and that is essentially against four ships. Isakaze did drop towards, but they shouldn't have the range. They should drop off here in a moment. And once again, this is a fight you don't want to be in when you're a Konigsberg, because once again, the Konigsberg's armor is very fragile. And you will see this even with HE from the Orion, and I know it's British HE. It hits pretty hard, and yeah, definitely probably going to be a good idea to quickly retreat as fast as possible. But this Bogue is once again in a very precarious situation uh, that he is in fact going to probably go down uh, relatively quickly. Now our team's actually doing a really good job. They're starting to push up the... Uh, uh, western side, but unfortunately they are currently having to deal with the Isuzuki, and the Isuzuki is doing a really good job as far as uh, taking out the enemy ships, and of course we live, we leave the Isakaze with 256 points of health. There we go. Took out the enemy Isakaze, but it is unfortunately too little too late. Our Bogue is going to go down, and he really doesn't have much he can do. He's trying to get away. But this Omaha is causing a lot of pressure. AP is loaded for this Omaha. We need to take this guy out as quickly as possible. Uh, just to kind of relieve the pressure uh, for our CV. And I will have to say, uh, arcing on the Konigsberg. Definitely a little bit different from the uh, high tier. And there we go. Just earned Kraken. Finally got rid of that Omaha. We got a Citadel. But unfortunately for us, our Bogue is... Pretty much screwed. He's burning to death and he has only 2k uh, points of health. So all I can do right now is just try to support Imperial and the Chassar as much as possible while myself trying to avoid any damage. And we have just earned Confederate and we have just lost our Bogue. And once again, Really good idea for the Konigsberg and any any player that's currently playing the uh, German prison line, especially low tier and even high tier. Long range is going to be your friend. Long range, especially on the Konigsberg, is really going to be nice. And going to try to help out with this Orion. He is burning to death, uh, but unfortunately for us... We're just uh, losing, essentially, a losing battle because the enemy team still has their CV and we do not. So we do not have any air support, which is not going to prove beneficial. And I think I will be admitting that I'm probably pissing off this Orion. It does look like he is slowing up, firing HE, and unfortunately Imperial is essentially a battleship versus two. And that's not really a good position, and yeah, things are not looking very hot for us at the moment. Xinyang is trying to go after the CV, but obviously the CV has moved towards the eastern side and is not sitting in place. Once again, doing a really good job as far as a CV player should be playing. And there we go, finally got a fire on this Orion. Try to take him out. And here I make an error, and I should have kept moving, and this is going to hurt quite a bit, even with a Chi. Ugh. British battleship a Chi is very potent and very, very capable of citadeling a low-tier cruiser, such as the Konigsberg, that even if this Orion is firing a Chi, you still have to be extremely careful. And of course he gets a fire because why the hell not? And yes, I think we overstate our welcome. Now, fortunately I am at least pulling off some 
fire from Imperial that should allow him to at least recuperate. But once again, things aren't looking so hot, especially considering they still have a CV left. And unfortunately, we are the only members left on our team. And the fire finally does go out, but it has left me at 975 points of health. And can we just need to kill this Orion? But unfortunately, now we can't seem to get those fires as much as we would like to. I think this Orion might go down, especially if we get another fire on him. He probably will. Uh, but right now, I definitely need to get as much distance as possible uh, from this Orion. But where is that? Is Suzuki. That is Suzuki actually did manage to take out all of our friendly teammates who were up north and oh have to avoid these shots Ooh, sitting at two points of health can we so ryan has healed and once again rng giveth and rng taketh and we just can't seem to get that fire and unfortunately for Imperial, he is now being focused down by the enemy CV. Torp planes are incoming and is unfortunately going to eat a Torp. And is going to leave him susceptible to any incoming fire, especially if it's coming from the middle of the islands in that channel there. I'm trying once again, trying to get in range. I'm so low on health that... Even a little bit of a breeze could easily sink us. And Imperial is doing his very darndest, but unfortunately for him, yes, Suzuki has come around the corner and landed a decent hit. Not enough to kill him, but essentially it is going to be such a tight battle. Can we at least kill this is Suzuki? We have so many battleships so low on health, besides the uh, Konigs. Uh, that we might be able to get the Suzuki. We'll try, try to get a fire. Uh, Imperial does get the Orion, but unfortunately it does go down to the Suzuki. And we have just earned high caliber and we are currently burning the Suzuki. And here I probably should have just stayed with HE. Honestly, probably what it would have been a lot wiser. Uh, the AP just broke along that shit on along the hole of the Suzuki that yeah I probably should have been firing HE and unfortunately for us we are going to lose vision uh, with the Suzuki now finally switch back over to HE and essentially this battle has uh, been lost for us uh, just due to the fact that the enemy team uh, had a better better opportunity at a win than we did we'll say it mildly all right well with that we did our best and unfortunately not much i can do and the cv is probably going to come hunt us down and there's probably not going to be a win after all so with that i think we're gonna go ahead and just go ahead and end off this replay because CV is going to come after us and we are going to go down. But fortunately, not from the enemy battleship. So let's take a look at the victory screen. So unfortunately, it was a defeat for us, but still not a bad battle. Earned Confederate Kraken and High Caliber did almost 100k damage. Uh, we were top of the team with base XP of 1,316. Damage was fairly decent. AP, especially closer uh, for the Kongsberg. Once again, that last bit against the ES Suzuki, I should have kept with HE. Thought the AP would be decent, but I will have to say that was, I think, my first time in the Kongsberg in over almost, almost upcoming two years, something like that. It's been a long time. Uh, since I've played the Konigsberg, so you'll have to forgive me if I did make a silly mistake of trying the AP because Hindenburg, I know it's a tier 10, AP at long range is fantastic, but Konigsberg, yes, definitely is going to have a bit more of a issue against a long range battleship like that. Uh, but anyways, this is going to be it for this episode of World of Warships. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you saw, hit the like and subscribe button. You guys have a great and fantastic day. Zaijen.